guys welcome back to my channel long time no see I am so excited to be filming today and again it's been a while I think my last video was back in December so before the new year so it's been about five months um I don't really have any excuses other than I hated my setup and my camera's autofocus was crap. Now that we fixed that, we are back into the filming game. So I thought I'd ease myself back into YouTube videos by filming a small haul. Um, I placed an order with Lantern and Wren last week and it arrived yesterday. So I wanted to share what I got. And if you would like to see what that is, then keep on watching. So what prompted my order to Lantern and Wren is this plate right here, which is the Creative Shop 116. Um, Carly, who runs Lantern and Wren, she has a Facebook group um, called All About That Stamp. And whenever she would get something new in, um, she would post about it. And when I saw that she got Creative Shop plates in that I was interested in, in, and have been looking at for a while since it was released I couldn't help myself so I got the creative shop 116 plate um, the plastic is still on it let me go ahead and peel that off real quick here if I can get to it oh my goodness there we go and it's all about unicorns. <laughs> I don't know what it is about unicorns, but um, that's what the images look like. Uh, I probably have several plates that are unicorn themed, but I couldn't pass on this one. Another plate that, wa that I was interested in is from Clear Jelly Stamper. I saw somebody do a tutorial using this plate on Instagram and this pattern right here is really what caught my eye this layering pattern right here um, as you can see the blue film is already off because I could not wait I had to play with it right away when I got it yesterday and I actually have it on my nails right now if my camera would focus there it goes so that's what that pattern looks like stamped and honestly it's beautiful but I have one gripe when it comes to clear jelly stamper plates I don't understand why the images are so huge <laughs> I mean really really come on now why that is just so much space wasted but I love this pattern and it looked like it would be a really nice one to just play with so I got that one and while looking through the website just to see like okay what else can I add in this card which is a horrible thing to be doing um, I saw well, I've seen from before that Carly got a lot of Moira items in, and one of them are the transfer foils, and they people rave about these. Although I have not, I have yet to mess with transfer foils on my nails. I thought this would be a good start, which is the rose gold. I believe this is called rose gold. What is the color? Rose gold. I think it's rose gold it doesn't say it on the packaging itself but um, there it is looks a little coppery on my actually it looks really gold on the camera like but it's definitely rose gold 
as well as the holographic one. Oh, holy cow, look at that. The holographic one, which is just so beautiful. I wish the packaging was nicer. Like, it came with a container because I don't know how this is going to be after I open it. Um, but we'll see. And last but definitely not the least is this stamping polish from Hit The Bottle called Rose Glow. One of the newer releases from the stamping polish line and when I saw it I knew it had to be part of my collection. Um, I have quite a bit of Hit The Bottle stamping polishes. They are probably my favorite metallic shimmery stamping polishes because of their opaqueness and the color payoff altogether. So I had to add this one which I actually wanted to compare it to Calypso Gold which I have. Hold on. So shake that up a little bit because I've been using it. Whoa, that's weird. Okay, this is Calypso Gold. And um, for anybody who has, that's annoying, isn't it? For anybody who has stamping polishes that and are wondering, like, okay, how does it compare to one is Calypso Gold, which is this one right here. Focus. There it goes. So that's what the difference is. Definitely more champagne gold for Calypso Gold. And you can see how rose gold the rose glow is. And then this other one is Champagne Shifter, which is a pinky gold. You can tell that this has a golden shift to it, but definitely not the same as rose glow. And I actually, this is one of the other things that I had to break into right away. It's on my nails as the, um, that little borderline for the stamping, which is really hard to see. Where is the middle of this thing? There we go. It's really pretty. I love it. And I'm glad that it found, a, it found its home with all of my hit the bottle polishes. So that is my short and sweet haul for today from Lantern and Wren. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or would like to see some swatches of the plates or the stamping polish, please let me know. Um, I'll definitely be filming more now that I've figured out my setup somewhat. Um, so there's definitely more videos coming to this channel so thank you again for watching and have a good day